Ladies and gentlemen, in the name of the one God, His Word, His Spirit, Bismillah wa kalimati wa ruhi, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the one only God, Amen. I was very surprised, shocked, to see a video of late Ahmed Didat, Indian from South Africa, who passed away several years ago, claiming that there was something very nasty, God forbid, hashwakallah, about God himself, what God did to Sarah, Sarah, Abraham's wife. In Genesis 21, verse 1, it is said that God visited Sarah, that God gave Sarah a child, that she was happy to tell what God did to her. But my dear friends, none, none at all of these expressions means, God forbid, that God had, again God forbid, any intercourse. Come on, with Sarah. This is grossly misunderstanding the biblical text well, you would say, why are you shouting, Father? Ahmed Didat is not here to talk to you, or to listen to you, or to answer to you. Okay, so you are here, ladies and gentlemen. God visited Sarah, to the best of my knowledge. The verb, the Hebrew verb is parkat. It is also used in the hymn of Zechariah, Zachary, father of the future John the Baptist, Yehia bin Zachariah, says that God visited us. The visit of God, in Arabic we say the same verb, faqada, iftaqada. It means that God took care of his people. He had compassion on Sarah, who was barren. He had compassion on his people. Fakada, pakad, it means as if God were paying us a visit in order to grant us graces, favors, blessings. This is the visit. And then, to give her a child. It is obvious from the biblical text that the child will be, of course, born from the intercourse with her husband. But the difference is that for so many long years, such marital relations were there without any child. So the, the lesson of this is that even though people, even though spouses or couples or partners do have marital or sexual or physical relations, it is God who gives, who gives life. Life is a gift of God. And this is the meaning of the expression, to give her a child. God visited her. God had compassion on her. God gave her grace, favor, blessing by giving her a child. But this does not mean at all. I say to Lady that, and to everyone who thinks like lately that, that the whole context, well, God is a spirit. God is a spirit in the 
Old Testament, God is none other than a spirit. Even if he appears in the form of three angels or three men, he is a spirit. And so his visit, his grace, his blessing, his favor, and he gives a child, it means that he blesses the sexual marital union between Zachariah, uh, no, sorry, between Abraham and his wife, and nothing else. Please, my dear friends, do not misunderstand the Bible. Anything you don't know, ask the people of the Revelation, those who received the Revelation before, as it is written, as I remembered in the chapter 16th of the Quran. We have sent before you, O Muhammad, men to whom we have revealed. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ So, O oh, you Muslims, ask the people of the revelation, ask the people of the remembrance, meaning the Jews and the Nazarenes, who are the people of those revelations, ask them if there is anything you don't know. Thank you for your attention.